In this video, we will take a look at how to create and take attendance using seating charts in Classroom 360. As a reminder, I'm in a sample Classroom 360 SIS account right now, so there are a few buttons or items that might be a little different than what you will see on your screen. I'm logged into Classroom 360, and on my dashboard is where I'm going to get into my seating chart. So there are a couple ways to get into your seating chart. You can click the little icon next to the appropriate hour under attendance today and click in and then switch to seating chart. Or I can use the three stack dots next to the hour that I wanna get into that seating chart and then go into seating chart. So a couple ways to do that. I'm gonna go into my third hour pre-algebra class and I'm gonna click my three stack dots and I'm gonna press seating charts. So in the seating chart builder, it's going to allow me to create what my classroom looks like. And then I can assign manually or even auto assign students to particular desks. And once I have them assigned, I can then take attendance using the chart. I can print the chart. And once I have my classroom designed, I can also reuse the chart for different hours or make changes. So the first thing I wanna do in here, because I have not created a seating chart yet, is at the bottom, I'm gonna click on my plus button to add a chart. Then it's gonna pop open the seating chart builder. So on the right hand side, you're gonna see I can add in student seats, teacher desks, the door, the front of the room. So I can use those objects. And then I also have a list of my students that I'll need to assign. One little tip that I like, so I could take a seat, move it here and readjust uh, where that seat is. If I don't want that seat, all I do is bring it back over to the left and release it. But one quick tip that I have, if you want to quickly bring 20, 30, however many desks into the area, is click our auto create button. This is going to allow me to determine the number of rows and columns of seats. So let's say I wanna do five rows and five columns because I have 25 desks. I'm gonna put five by five in create. And when I do that, it just gives me all of my seats at once. So then I can go in and adjust those to match what my room looks like. So I can move those around. So after I get these set up, so let me move a few around here and we're pretending that this is my room. I can also then put in the teacher desk. So I can drop the teacher desk where the teacher desk is. If I double click the teacher desk, it's gonna move it around so I can get it angled just like it would be in my room. I can do the same with the door, the front of the room. I have all those icons here. At the top, I'm gonna to give this a name. I'm gonna call this seating chart my room number. Just in case I move rooms, I could create charts for my different rooms. Okay, and this is gonna be my default chart. This is the room I'm in most of the, the day. So now that I have my room set up in the way that it's set up to match my classroom, I'm ready to assign my students. So I could take my students here and then drop them into their seats. Or if I want to auto assign, okay, so I just brought that student and dropped her back into the list. If I want to auto assign, I have an auto assign button at the bottom. So this will assign students alphabetically or by random. So I have some choices here on how I want to assign them. And then I'm gonna press assign and it's gonna fill the students in for me. So again, I have a couple of options of how I wanna assign. Or if I do this and then I think, oop, she needs to move over here and I wanna move him here and I can move my students around. Now that I have this seating chart completed, and by the way, if you need any support building or with this, you can always ask a tech coach or there's a how-to button to help you with that here. So now that I have this created, I'm ready to press my save button. Now that I press saved, this has loaded for my third hour. Now that it's loaded, I have a print chart option if I wanted to print it. If I need to go back and edit it, I can edit it there. But now I have this seating chart created to use. So how do I use it for my other hours? Right now, you can tell I'm in my third hour class and this matches my room. I'm gonna go back out to home and now I'm gonna go into my seating chart for my fifth hour class. So again, three stack dots, I'm going to seating chart and I don't have a seating chart here. So what I need to do, because this is the same room, I'm gonna go to copy chart 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy from my third hour that I already made, and I'm gonna copy my room 230, and I'm gonna call this one room 230, and I will call this my fifth hour class. I'm gonna click copy, and now it's kept my formatting from my original one, and then I'm ready to assign my students where they go, and then I'm going to press save. So I'm gonna continue this process until I have all of my hours completed. And then here is the really cool part. So I'm gonna go back to home. I'm gonna go into attendance this time. So let's say I'm ready to take attendance for my third hour. And please check out our video on attendance to learn more about this format. But what I can do is when I'm in attendance down at the bottom, I can press seating chart and it's gonna load my seating chart here. And now I can take attendance right on the seating chart. So how do I do that? I'm just gonna click on any students who are absent. And when I click it, it's going to put an A. Now, if there are any additional markers you use like T for tardy, if I click twice, it's gonna move the A to a T. So I can go through that student and say if they're absent, they're tardy, or they're just present. If everyone was here and no one was tardy, I can also press perfect attendance at the bottom. So this is how I can have then my attendance taken right on the seating chart, which is a really convenient way to look around your class and know who is there. Once my attendance is completed then, I'm gonna press save. And now we're saved here. And now then I can jump in if I wanna to go to the grade book for this hour. If I wanted to switch back to my usual list view, I can do that. But now this will default to show me that seating chart view to take attendance. So again, this video was on how you can create seating charts, copy seating charts between hours, and then take attendance using seating charts in Classroom 360.